Hello, welcome, Cabbage here. Let's have a look at my first time clear of Yomi. And uh, yeah, personally, I'm not super satisfied with this run um, because it's not very smooth. And then there are many levels where I just barely beat it. Um, but some viewers might find that to be kind of thrilling, so I'll show you the video anyway. Um, but uh, yeah, I just finished uh, five Max Lux uh, the day before. And then that night I beat Eden, and then the next day I beat uh, Yomi, so I'm looking pretty good so far. <laughs> uh, gimmicks here are mostly gravity barriers, uh, but there are some damage walls, uh, which are shot out by these dark uh, Muramasas. And um, there are anti-bounce guys and anti-pierce guys, um, but there are the, um, the sling style change panels everywhere. Um, so we can, you know, take either one and then use those panels to uh, take down guys. Uh, the first stage is pretty uh, easy uh, if you start with a Pierce character, uh, which is why I put uh, Ducky first. Um, you kind of go like diagonally to the right, go through the anti-bounce guy, um, and then change to a bounce character, hit the anti-Pierce guys, and then uh, take down the... Uh, dark middle muscle. Uh, the second stage here is a little bit more complicated, uh, but first thing we want to do is take out the two guys on the top and the bottom, uh, because they will not revive, and then that will leave us with the uh, last four. And then it's just about um, getting the right angle so that you hit two of the guys, hit a uh, sling style change panel, and then hit the other two guys. Uh, if I remember correctly, this took me a while, so that'll give me a chance to talk about my team. Uh, first, I'm using Ducky. Uh, she is a Pierce with no gravity barrier, a uh, dark element. And then uh, she has a fairly strong bump combo in the rebound laser and the uh, plasma. Uh, when she was first released, uh, this was much more powerful. Uh, but as time has gone on, uh, the amount of damage it does uh, hasn't kept up uh, with the, uh, the metagame. And um, actually, a few people are saying it's about time for her to get a transcendent form. And then uh, with the uh, four-year anniversary coming up, uh, it might be a good time to do that. <laughs> um, if she does get the transcendent form, I'll be very happy, of course, but uh, still very usable now. Uh, she also has a poison strike shot, uh, which can do very good um, guaranteed damage, uh, but it does take a few turns uh, for all the damage to get out. Next up, I'm using uh, Verdandi, Ascension. Uh, she is a bounce with both no gravity barrier and no damage wall. So she addresses all of the, uh, the gimmicks of this mission. Um, she has a becomes a pure strike shot, uh, but it's a little tricky to use in this mission uh, because once she turns that on, uh, she gains immunity to the sling style change panels. Um, so you have to kind of think differently about how you are uh, doing your shots uh, with her strike shot. Um, probably the best way to use it is not to uh, go after little guys, uh, but to either do concentrated damage to the boss, or else uh, grab hearts or set off bump combos. Alright, so that was the third stage done, and then here is the first uh, mini-boss stage. And then um, you're trying to do two things at once in every uh, Yomi uh, boss stage. And that is to take down as many of the little guys as possible in order to keep your HP up. And then the other thing you're trying to do is do as much damage as you can to the boss. And it's a uh, it's, it's really a juggling game between the two um, uh, things that you have to do. Um, if you are low on HP, you want to take down the little guys uh, so that you take less damage yourself. Um, if you have a lot of HP and you can survive one of the uh, attacks, uh, from all of the little guys, uh, then that might be worth going after the boss uh, with that. And then uh, Yomi's kind of highlighted attack, which has that kind of special frame around it, um, that shoots down some markers, and then uh, any enemy that, or enemy, any teammate uh, that is within the area of those markers gets a uh, damaging attack. Uh, but yeah, we have um, Ducky's poison going off. Um, so that freed us up to go after the little guys every turn, um, and then we do damage to the boss uh, on the off turn. 
Okay, and then last stage before the boss sequence. Same thing here. Uh, we'll take down the little guys uh, when we need to. Uh, we'll get rid of the uh, Dark Muramasa as quick as possible so that uh, the damage walls don't come out. And then uh, we'll do damage to the boss. And then uh, this time the markers uh, will appear underneath Yomi, so uh, if we can, we want our guys to not be underneath Yomi. Um, but that's kind of difficult to do. You have so many other things to do um, that you are most likely going to end up with guys within that area. Alright, to continue talking about the uh, team, uh, next I'm using Hikari uh, Transcendent. Uh, she is a bounce with no gravity barrier. And she has very, very high speed uh, for a uh, bounce character. And that makes her good for this mission uh, because she can get around more and then hit more guys. Um, she has the Olympic rings uh, and then the uh, pan elemental homing, uh, both of which are pretty decent uh, for this mission. Uh, there are the uh, laser barriers, but they're not affected by the Olympic rings. And then she has a strike shot where she becomes a pierce and uh, does a uh, meteor and also gets speed and power up. And um, yeah, again, uh, becoming a pierce. And then uh, using the strike shot, uh, she ignores the, uh, the panels. Um, so it plays similarly to uh, Verdandi's strike shot. Um, so yeah, we do want to be very careful about how we aim it. And then um, I would say overall it's best to do concentrated damage on the boss. And then maybe also get the uh, Dark Muramasas if they are out too. Okay, that was kind of a close call, but we got through that one. And then uh, finally, my friend is uh, Uriel. Uh, she is a Pierce with no damage wall, no gravity barrier, and no gauge, which I love, of course. Uh, she has the bump combo that is an energy circle and then a cross laser. Uh, the cross laser will be blocked by the laser barriers, of course, but the energy circle uh, can still do uh, good damage. And then she has a command strike shot, uh, which just like uh, Verdandi and Hikari, is not great for uh, taking down lots of the little guys. Um, so again, I would use it just for concentrated damage on the boss. Okay, so we are entering the, uh, the boss sequence. And um, yeah, same thing as the mini boss. Um, if we have the HP, we can do some concentrated damage on the boss. If our HP is looking iffy, we can uh, go after the little guys in order to prevent damage to ourselves. Okay, so that level went fairly smoothly. Uh, my positioning was good uh, to start. Okay, second stage. I would say maybe this is the easiest of the uh, boss sequence. Uh, there are no Muramasas, so there are no uh, damage walls that can come out. And then uh, here with uh, Verdandi... No, we're not going to get it because we hit that uh, panel up at the uh, top there. Uh, but with Hikari here we have a better angle, so we should be able to get this. Okay, decent. Maybe I should have aimed a little lower. Okay, there are the markers coming out and they explode uh, on uh, Hikari there. And uh, here I saw a good chance to use Oriole Strike Shot. Uh, we'll forget about the, uh, the command part of it, we'll just use it as a speed and power up. And then uh, we can also grab the heart, so that worked out. Okay, with Ducky, I didn't see a good chance to do damage on the boss, so we'll just go after the little guys. And we'll get rid of all of them, so that's good. And then uh, here I saw a lot of my characters in the area where the markers are going to come down. So I'm trying to think of how to aim for Dandy so that she can kind of nudge maybe a couple of the guys out of the way. Let's see if that worked. Sort of. Uh, but the boss should be just one more hit, so I think we can get through the mission, uh, through the stage. And... Yes, okay, great. <laughs> so that was a little bit of a close call.
Okay, and we are already at the last stage. Uh, that felt pretty quick for some reason. Uh, but yeah, we want to get rid of the uh, dark Muramasas. And then, um, yeah, get rid of the little guys as we do damage to the boss. And I would have loved to have used uh, Ducky's Poison uh, bump, uh, Strike Shot here. Uh, but I didn't like her positioning, because she's going to be where the, uh, the markers come down. And then also I really wanted to take down the uh, Dark Muramasa, so that's why I went for the uh, standard attack here. Okay, so we got her out of position and then took down the Muramasa, so... I consider that a successful turn. <laughs> and then uh, two of my characters, they have uh, the Null Damage Wall, so that's pretty nice. Uh, that's kind of one less thing to worry about uh, on their turn. Okay. And then uh, with Hikari here, I saw a good chance to use her uh, Meteor Strike Shot. Uh, we will hit the boss and then the two Dark Muramasas. And uh, it's also a good speed and power-up, so the more hits we can get on the boss, uh, the better. Okay, so we got rid of the Muramasas and also a couple of the little guys, so that saved us some damage. And then uh, with Uriel here, we'll just do a standard attack. Poor angle, I should have gotten into the uh, weak point more. Yikes, very low on HP. Uh, thankfully we have this heart, so we'll pick that up, get out uh, Uriel's uh, energy uh, circle. And here comes the explosion. Still alive. <laughs> uh, with Verdandi here, let's use her Pierce Strike Shot to grab the heart. And then hopefully do some damage to um, everybody else. Excellent. Okay, Hikari's in pretty poor position. Let's see if we can get her out of there. Okay, good. Eh, not great. Okay, with uh, Uriel again, let's uh, do some more damage. I was hoping to take down the boss with this attack, so I didn't feel like I was going to survive the, uh, the marker attack again. But we did. <laughs> So we'll go for the finishing blow with uh, Ducky, and that will do it. <laughs> so yes, not the smoothest run. Uh, my positioning on most of the stages was not ideal, and I took way more hits from the, uh, the marker attack than I should have. Uh, but somehow we were able to get through it, and uh, we got the first clear and the first drop. And then as for the character himself, Yomi is pretty darn good. He's a bounce with Null Warp and Null Gravity Barrier, uh, which is very, very versatile. Uh, he's got a strong bump combo, the uh, Fellow Laser, and then the uh, Poison Meteor Strike Shot, uh, which is my pick for the best Meteor Strike Shot. Alrighty, thanks for watching, and we'll see you again. Take care.